All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, we did finally finish up the uh, the, uh, the course or the module that we were in, and that was the introduction to open AI. I actually accidentally split it up into two different uh, modules, but I'll put everything back together. As you can see, we have over a thousand lines of code since I put them together. So, yeah. The last place we left off, we were open. Uh, we were using a lang chain, and uh, we actually finished it up, and we wrote a final code in lang chain. Let me get it and uh, do some light reading for you, and then we go take a look at the notebook to see exactly what we did to implement that. So the final code we wrote in lang chain, we uh, we imported the lang chain from lang chain. We did open it. We actually did this part yesterday. I showed you this part, how far we got. And then uh, let's see here how we can move on. Client, okay. Now we will call our method. So next, after we inputted all of our imports over and got everything we needed to get over, we created our method. Our method name will be predict, and we will write. I don't know. Why would I have that like that? We will write it like this, the client dot predict method. This is how we're going to write it, our method. From here, we can pass in our parameter, which is going to be a prompt, which is an input which is what we will be passing to our model. Above our method, we will define our prompt, and this is how we will define our prompt. With this prompt, we will be asking our model a question. So it's gonna be prompt equals, can you tell me the total number of countries in Asia? There is our question that we will be asking our model. This is called zero short prompting. So that's that there. And then uh, now we can pass our prompt to our method and run it. We can also modify the question we ask our model by appending another question after the first question. That would look something like this. Prompt equals, can you tell me what the total number of countries in Asia? Can you tell me the number, the total number of countries in Asia? And then the second question is, can you give me the top 10 countries in Asia? Also, we can use the dot strip to remove everything from our return that isn't text. Things like slashes, asterisks, and any straight characters. That would look like this. You have the client that predict prompt and then dot strip now lastly we can use a print method to actually pass this client that predicting to and get back a return in a much more readable format without information that would look like this print client dot predict prompt dot strip now this was a simple demonstration of what we can do with lang chain there are many more uses that we will go over later on in a course so let's go over to the notebook now and see exactly how we implemented that stuff for the last actual example so you can see if we have our input Link chain from link chain open AI input open AI our keys client equals open AI open AI API key equals keys prompt can you tell me the total number of countries in Asia this was the first question that we asked then we appended it we we appended a second question can you name the top 10 countries in Asia then we had the client dot predict prompt then we added the dot strip and then we added that to a print method and uh, everything went smoothly as you can see we have an error here but this is a good error as you can see the only reason that we have this error is because we exceeded our current quota please check your plan and billing details so that means everything worked properly and if we were connected to the actual api we would have got our our request answered we would have got our return so everything did work properly finally we followed the proper flow everything came through and now uh, we actually implemented a, a link chain wrap around for our API and the link chain like I said is just like it's a wrap around of the API so instead of asking the API directly we will pass it through the link chain and the link chain will ask the ap open API and then I would have passed it back to us with our data so that's all, that was that there we finally got done with that so we're out of the open API website and tomorrow we're going to be starting our open source so I started a new notebook right here so it's fresh we'll start open source tomorrow so we should be able to follow along full speed ahead with all hands on deck. That means we can do everything the instructor does. And there should be any restrictions. So let me show you what that looks like also in the uh, module that we started over here. The Hug and Face API lane chain. And I did start taking a little bit of notes, but just basic information. The agenda, what we're going to be going over. First, we will discuss how to use OpenAI via lane chain. The second topic will be prompt templates and how to use them and so on and so forth. I'm not going to do all of that reading. We will get back in that tomorrow when we actually start the module up. So, yes, yeah, so things are moving smoothly and we are still moving full speed ahead. But, of course, I will keep you guys posted every step of the way. For now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.